Welcome back, folks. This is Greg Silberman, your Chief Investment Officer and Chief Financial Officer. If you have a family-owned business or a private equity-owned business, I'd love to be speaking to you. I've helped uh, a lot of businesses as a CFO, um, kind of move into the institutional world, if you like. So this is another one of our Come Learn With Me sessions. Uh, another interesting um, topic, one that's actually quite close to my heart as I've spent a lot of time looking at and investing in this space. So without further ado, alternative jet fuels on runway and clear for takeoff. Okay. The arrival time of sustainable aviation fuel appears to be on schedule or schedule. Investors have been giving a lot of attention to advancements in sustainable fuel and renewable energy. This has largely been centered on cars and electric utilities. Other successes may have gone right over some of their heads. One high-flying example is the aviation industry, which has been making significant headway with non-traditional fuels being developed, contracted and distribution channels being created. US airlines have been moving swiftly forward with their pledge to work across the industry and with government officials to provide 3 billion gallons of cost competitive sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, by 2030. Distribution. In June of this year, an essential piece of SAF infrastructure began being used to deliver biofuel to New York's busy LaGuardia Airport. A milestone delivery of sustainable jet fuel was delivered via the Colonial and Buckeye pipeline systems. The low emission jet fuel will power a Delta Airlines flight. This marks a seminal moment for the ongoing development and distribution of SAF in the US. Low emission, let's see, might be low sulfur emission. Again, something I've been very, very active in. Last month, it was announced the Department of Energy and Southwest Airlines are teaming up to test the technology needed to turn farm waste into jet fuel. Oh, cow, cow poop, I guess. A partnership between the Department of Energy, Southwest Airlines, and other companies is exploring a process to make low carbon jet fuel out of corn stalks. Oh, okay, I beg your pardon. According to Michael Himmel, a biochemist at the DOE's National Renewable Energy Laboratory, the process mimics the way the stomachs of termites use three steps to break down particles of wood and turn it into nourishing food. Bob Jordan, the CEO of Southwest, whose company will help fund the project, said it involved a game-changing technology that could replace up to 5% of the nation's jet fuel by 2030. Agricultural wastes are plentiful if they can be turned into a form of ethanol that could qualify as an aviation fuel. There are many winners. Contracted. Recently, United and United Airlines and American Airlines each also had big announcements showing progress towards zero to minimal CO2 emission from jet aircraft. United has agreed to purchase at least 300 million gallons of SAF over 20 years from Dimensional Energy. Dimensional Energy uses a novel approach to moving aircraft fuel to net zero. The company's technology uses the Fisher Tropsch process to produce fuels from coal or methane. Many facilities around the world have used the Fisher Trops process to refine fossil fuels for other purposes. The long proven process uses a series of chemical reactions to convert a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen or water gas into liquid hydrocarbons. Dimensional will be one of the first to use it to produce sustainable aviation fuels. American Airlines and GEVO has signed a five year sales agreement over the course of five years. GEVO, a growing aviation biofuel producer, will be providing Americans. American with 100 million gallons of SAF a year for each of the five years. The agreement, which GEVO estimates with 2.75 billion in revenue over the contract term, is the company's single largest sales agreement. Takeaway. In late 21, the world's airlines made a pledge to fly using sustainable fuel by 2050. The promise by the International Air Transport Association involved exploring, developing, building, and implementing a program of carbon abatement over three decades. Post-pandemic, there have been great strides towards the goal. The progress in June and July of this year shows a clear path is developing and small innovative players in energy production are stepping up to make sure the IATA, IATA and all the airlines meet their 2050 arrival time. We've got hydrogen powered, green jet fuels. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I have heard of... Uh, jet fuels uh, which have been desulfurized or lower sulfur content. That's a big deal actually in uh, shipping fuels. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, I hope you found that one interesting. Chat this, this group channel check, small and micro cap. They, they seem to come out with some interesting articles from time to time. So uh, please subscribe and like.
and uh, take a look at some of the links below and join some of our mini groups. And we'd love to, um, have, to have a chat with you. Greg Silverman, out for now.